Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my Q&A. About um, a week ago, I asked you guys on Instagram to leave me your questions about me or makeup or just anything that I can answer for you guys. And I did get a couple of questions. So I'm going to answer them for you. This is the second time that I filmed this. The first time that I filmed it, it was just like a total fail. So I had to re... Um, refilm so here it is okay so we're gonna go with the first question which is from VR 1318 and she asked if you could use only one makeup palette for the rest of your life which would it be and I think my Z palettes I have a big Z palette that contains only Luxie or Luxie Beauty eyeshadows you guys know that I love her brand I love her eyeshadows and I love her highlights I'm actually wearing one today I really think they're really good quality. The pigmentation is amazing and I really like them. So I would definitely have to go with my Luxie Beauty Z palette. The next question is from Hopelessly Devoted to Makeup and she asks, what advice would you give someone who is thinking about starting a YouTube beauty channel? Do they have to buy all the new things out in order to get views? Great question. Um, so my biggest advice is, I you probably have heard this millions of times, but it's probably one of the best advice somebody can give you is just stay true to yourself. Don't try to be like anybody else. Don't try to um, imitate anybody else. Just do what you do because people will follow you and people will love you for who you are. Um, another thing is if you are wanting to start a beauty channel, I would suggest for you to try and save some money and invest in some good um, product as far as like a camera and lighting because nowadays YouTube is such a big thing. There's so many beauty gurus out there that people are attracted to good quality. So you want to make sure if you are wanting to do this for business or something like that for a career, I do suggest for you to save up some money and um, you know, invest into good um, settings as far as, like I said, camera and stuff because people will like that. People will appreciate good quality contents. It took me almost two years to get to the quality of content that I have and I'm pretty happy with it. There's always room for improvements, but definitely just stay with something that's good and also affordable. So the next question is from beautyxo.exo and she says, are you planning any more collabs? If so, anyone in particular you would love uh, to collab with? Lots of love from California. Thank you. I love California. Um, I do have actually one video coming up either this Friday or next Friday with um, Adriana Luna. I don't know if you guys watch her on YouTube or follow her on Instagram. She is gorgeous. She looks like a freaking model. She's a really talented makeup artist. So we've been planning and we've been talking to do a collab. But, you know, we just need to find the right moment. So, yeah, I do have one more coming up. The next question is from Miss Martini and she says, what's your favorite comedy movie and what's your favorite memory from high school? Um, my favorite comedy movie would have to be any of those like um, Ace Ventura type of movies. Um, what's his name? Jim Carrey. I think he's hilarious. He's probably one of my favorite comedians, like actors. He's really funny and I just really like his movies, like the older school movies, like Ace Ventura, Pet Detective and all those. I love those movies. And my favorite memory from high school would definitely have to be all my friends from high school. I miss them a lot. Um, I haven't seen them in years. Ever since I moved out of um, New Mexico, I haven't really kept touching them. Everybody has their own lives, they have kids, they're married, so it's kind of hard. But I definitely miss just hanging out with them. I remember that we started this thing where every Friday we would wear skirts and a certain color of shirts. And it was like a group of four or five of us girls and it was so much fun. So that's definitely one of my favorite memories from high school. The next question is Les.jpg and she asks, What advice do you have for someone to build up confidence to wear bold colors? Um, I think in order for you to have the confidence to wear bold co colors, you really don't have to give a damn, and excuse my language, about what anybody says. I feel like the older that I get, the less crap I 
give about what people think about me. If somebody thinks that I look like a freaking clown wearing red and gold, because let me tell you guys, I have never seen so much negativity on my comment section than what I saw on my last tutorial, which was a really bold bright makeup look but that's just me you guys know that I like bright colors and I'm really not embarrassed to go out like that I don't know I really don't care but yeah just don't think about it don't think about what people are going to think don't think about what people are going to say just rock it and believe me when you have confidence inside of you and you walk with confidence like you can conquer the world so the next question is from Remy underscore Picasso. She says, how do I get my brows perfect like yours? I watched your tutorials, but I still can't master it. Any tips? Well, thank you. My eyebrows are definitely not perfect. Um, but any tip that I have, um, for me, I've noticed that using a brow pomade is what I feel has helped me achieve better brows. Um, I like to go in and start right about here with my dip pomade. I use the next one. And I just go straight and, you know, create my own arch. I definitely like my th um, eyebrows thicker, but just try to follow your line from your eyebrows. And if you want them a little bit thicker, just don't go overboard. And make sure you have a good eyebrow brush. I feel like that's going to make it or break it. So definitely invest in a good eyebrow brush. I will try to find some and link them down below. And then the next question is from Miss Betty P. She says, how do you become a VIB member at Sephora and what are your New Year's resolution for your channel? Um, I believe you're supposed to spend a year around $130. Not entirely sure. Um, but that's about what you should be spending each year at Sephora in order to become a VIP member. And my New Year's resolution for my channel is uh, definitely keep creating great content. You guys know that I try to create or give you guys what you want to see because honestly, this channel is about you guys. I do what you guys want to see. Um, and I definitely want to hopefully have a high goal of reaching... I don't know, maybe 100k by the end of next year. That's insane, but maybe it can happen. I don't know. And then your girl Jules asks, what would you be doing if you weren't doing YouTube full time? Um, and what did you do before YouTube? Um, so if I wasn't doing YouTube, I don't know what I would be doing. I don't think I really would be doing much before I started YouTube. Um, I did have a job working for um, the healthcare, uh, healthcare, what do you call it? The new healthcare law that took place about two years ago. That's what I was doing. It was a pain in the ass and I would never go to a job like that again. Um, but if I wasn't doing YouTube, um, I would either be working as a freelance makeup artist. I do it here and there, but it's not like a full-time priority 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 job for me so I think I would be doing that a little bit more um, but I would definitely still be a stay-at-home mom and then N Rubio says what are your favorite stores to shop at and where do you get your fashion tips slash styles from and how would you describe your style love your videos girl thank you um, so I love to shop at Route 21 which is a store that's super close to my house um, Forever 21, I love shopping at Kohl's, that's like one of my favorite stores, and probably Old Navy, those are like my favorite stores to shop at, and I would describe my style as simple, I don't wear like bodysuits or skirts or dresses, I'm not really into that, I don't have the body for it right now that's another goal of mine is to lose some weight um, I put on some weight after I had my daughter so I definitely need to shed some weight in order for me to feel comfortable wearing skirts and all that stuff but I would say my style is definitely um, simple but I do love to wear heels and dress up cute but simple the next question is from Clarissa and she says will you ever visit San Antonio Texas love you and your awesome videos thank you love you too so I I don't know maybe in the future right now I don't have any plans and I don't have any family in San Antonio Texas <clears throat> so maybe in the future and then Queen Sweet 2015 asks cuando harás tu canal en español hermosa um 
ahorita no sé si sí tengo planeado empezar un canal en español tal vez en el futuro pero en este momento siento que tengo que aprender más palabras correctas um, especialmente cuando se trata de hablar de maquillaje mi español es, está muy bien pero siento que mis pa o las palabras que tendría que usar para hablar en español sobre maquillaje no las sé, no la sé entonces tengo que estudiar y tal vez después lo haré so she asks when I will have a Spanish channel and at the moment I don't know just because I feel like I need to learn better words or better terms for the makeup um, I I think my Spanish is pretty good it is my first language and I speak a lot of Spanglish but I don't know a lot of words when it comes to makeup terms so I definitely need to learn that and maybe in the future I will now Sharon McNown asks with all the negative people in this world what keeps you going on YouTube um it's definitely hard I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys oh I just shrug it off and go on about my day it's definitely very hard um, to get judged and you know have negative people say things to you I feel like I can take criticism pretty well if you're telling me con constructive criticism I can take that but when you sit there and are just plain out rude honestly it, it pisses me off it really does it takes me off but then I just think about it I'm like okay I'm not gonna let this one comment ruin my day out of all the positive comments that I have this comment is really nothing so I try not to get it let it get to me but sometimes it does annoy me and then magic moments 17 asks are you still going to vlog and can you do an updated makeup collection slash organization also thanks for your creativity and always giving your all in your videos it's truly appreciated and trust me it doesn't go unnoticed I love how you aren't afraid of doing different looks Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I am going to still vlog. I'm so bad because I forget. And plus, I don't have a little stand for my car to put my camera. So I need, you know, I'm constantly like holding it up. So I need to invest into one. I'll try to vlog maybe this week or something. And I will be doing a makeup organization soon. Honestly, I hate doing those videos. They're just not fun for me. They're not fun for me to film. I like watching them. But I don't like filming them. And then N L L Lopez or N Lopez 0906 says, "What advice do you get for someone that is trying to start a YouTube channel? How do you stay motivated? Love you." So I've already answered, uh, you know, the first part of the question. So just stay true to yourself. Don't focus on the numbers. Try not to focus on how many subscribers you're getting, because that will drive you crazy. I did that for the first year that I started doing YouTube, and I was just it was getting me I was getting disappointed you know so try not to focus on the numbers and I stay motivated because I love this I love getting glamorous and I love showing you guys you know my talent what I know and I love when you guys tag me in your pictures and you show me you know makeup looks that you rec recreated from my my looks so you guys are definitely a huge part in me staying motivated and then the next question is what are your biggest tips for makeup beginners um my biggest tip for makeup beginners is definitely take it easy don't try to do you know the whole nine yards especially if you're new with makeup you don't want to look crazy so I would definitely say just stick with like the basics like mascara um, foundation blush and maybe fill in your eyebrows a little bit but that would still even be maybe a bigger step because eyebrows are you know the thing that frame your face and if you don't fill them in right sometimes your face can look difference so I would stick with just the basic and then the very last question is from JC117 how do you manage to film so often and take care of your of your toddler by the way love all your videos and your daughter is so cute thank you um, so as you guys know I do have a two-year-old she will be three in April and she is awesome I, I mean I, obviously I love her she's my daughter but she is such a good girl um, sometimes when I'm filming there's a couch behind me so sometimes she'll just sit there and she's on her iPad watching her videos or playing games or something and she'll stay really quiet she already knows when mama's filming so she's very good about that um, I try to film 
as early in the morning as possible so I can you know have a time to make dinner and then have time to just play with her or color with her or just interact with her and um, yeah I mean she's really good so that is a big help too <laughs> Alright, so those were all the questions that you guys asked on my Instagram. If you guys want to see more um, Q&As, definitely let me know. If you have any question and you didn't, I didn't answer it, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. You guys saw that I always answer back to you guys. So, yeah, I believe that is everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!